Hey folks, how we doing today? It's me again, Shannon Fox here, Devoted Patriots Tooth Channel. Just coming to y'all with some uh, information off the Gateway Pundit today. Uh, there's several things going on that I wanted to talk talk a little bit about and put some links down below into some articles that I just can't say too much about. Now, if my speech is off a little bit, I got my new top teeth in the other day and I feel like I got a hockey puck in my mouth or whatever that's worth. But my speech is definitely uh, something I got to work on. It feels weird. I ain't going to lie to you. Let me go ahead and get into some news real quick. See how this goes. See if I can scroll through the uh, stuff we ain't supposed to talk about in a hurry. It says, um, who is John Doe? Mysterious anonymous power brokers attempting to block the Gateway Pundit from accessing Epstein's client list. Problem is, these people that were on Epstein's list are very powerful, very rich people that want to never have any, never be held accountable uh, for their role in this uh, sick mess. The pimping, the the child uh, endangerment, the trafficking, all the things that went on uh, with Epstein and his Lolita Express, and everybody involved in that. And I believe that the Gateway Pundit will get to the bottom of this. They have filed their Freedom of Information Act, and we've got judges already trying to block that type of stuff, but uh, it's not going to work. Uh, everything in darkness will come to light. I know you've heard that, and I believe it's just a matter of time. Before this happens and i'm glad to see gateway pundit is uh getting on the ball with not just putting out articles but actually trying to investigate and get to the bottom of a lot of this stuff just like uh project veritas and uh the heritage foundation and uh several other uh, agencies that are doing just that just trying to get to the bottom of all this crime and corruption uh, let me go ahead and judicial watch is another great one let me go ahead and get into a couple of these articles right here says uh trump said the fbi seized three of his pa three passports in, in the mar-a-lago raid now there was no reason for that whatsoever now i don't know how they could ever assume that that would be evidence uh, that they could use against somebody maybe it was to try to even keep somebody from leaving town uh in theory it's a crying shame just the way they traded trump behind this deal and i think it is woken more people up to what's really going on now because of they're going after Trump so hard behind this because he's going to run in 2024 and he's doing a great job of putting people in place already for the primaries. They're attacking Trump and they're actually going after his lawyer and anybody that can as well, including Giuliani, who is now a target of a criminal investigation in Georgia <clears throat> over the fact that um, he was trying to contest what was going on over there. There was actually a lot of them that were, including Sidney Powell and uh, Jenna Ellis and uh, Several of them that were uh, just trying to do their job as attorneys for Trump to get to the bottom of what really happened in Georgia. Now, uh, I don't think it'll go anywhere. They, they're they trying to disbar uh, Giuliani. That is one of the uh, plans. So he has no ability to represent Trump anymore. That's, that's the end goal for that one. But at any rate, I'm not worried about Giuliani. He's a smart man. He's got evidence on a lot of these folks. Let me scroll down past a little bit of the stuff that YouTube doesn't want to put on here. Now, Roger Stone has got a video uh, that YouTube does not want you to see. And um, it's about the it's about the FBI. And um, they seized a lot of the documents of Trump uh, pardoning Roger Stone. And uh, it's just a video that I can't really say much about, but I will definitely leave you a link in the description below for this video if you want to check it out. They said it's not YouTube friendly, and I will believe them wholeheartedly. You don't got to warn me twice. I've been there. I've been in YouTube jail more than once. Now, it's kind of funny. The FBI is now um, throwing up barricades around their FBI headquarters in D.C. But they're worried about an insurrection or something. I've seen there's a lot of uh, Trump supporters that are pissed off today behind uh, what's happened this, in this in this last week. Now, let me just get right on past that. We won't even go there. I have to scroll past that one really quick. Oh, that one too. Now, let me see here. There was one article I wanted to bring y'all, a couple articles I wanted to actually talk to y'all a little more about. So Nancy Pelosi met secretly with Taiwan chip manufacturer. Pelosi's son is the second largest stakeholder in China-related company but absolutely no business was discussed 
Now, everybody knows that China only leaves America for a couple of reasons. One was to go make deals in Ukraine, and two, to go to Taiwan to make deals with the Chinese for her, for her son, or with the Taiwanese for her son. You know, um, sometimes being an inside trader, you've got to go that extra mile and sometimes actually go meet the brokers and shake hands with the people that are going to make you rich in the end. And uh, that's exactly what happened over there. And hopefully one day we'll get to the bottom of this stuff. There will be an oversight committee for a lot of what's going on right now. Hopefully, Nancy Pelosi, uh, they'll have an oversight committee to ask Pelosi about the whole insider trading thing because she's still continuing to do it. And using her, her son like like Hunter Biden was, uh, like Joe Biden was using Hunter Biden. Pretty sad all these uh, creep show Democrats all got kids in politics in other countries uh, getting rich for their, uh, I guess, their influence more than anything. Now, let me see here. More people shot in Chicago. I don't even want to go there. It's just a sad case. Now, this is the truth of the matter about what's going on with uh, people being pissed off. People want Ray fired. They want uh, Merrick Garland fired. People are mad. People want the FBI defunded at this point. You know, I've never been a, a defund the police kind of person. Never thought like that. Uh, but at this point, I think the FBI really needs a good looking into it. And they may need to uh, disband it, if not disband it, at least uh, give it a thorough flushing clean out of everybody at the top, everybody on the seventh floor of the uh, FBI building there. And uh, I believe it's there in Washington. And um, get rid of all these creeps at the top, all these folks that have been carrying the lies for the left, all these folks that have become... Um, I guess you would say a uh, long arm of the law for Obama and Biden and the Democratic Party at this point. And we just can't have it. We've got to have uh, one tier justice, not two tier justice. Justice is supposed to be blind, but equal and fair. And uh, it's none of the above at this moment. And uh, we know it. Now, I do believe they will try to indict Trump to uh, hope to probably um, cause outrage among the Trump supporters and to try to make him look look bad and try to prevent him from running. They're going to probably try to do all this. There's no doubt, no doubt about it. But I don't think it's actually going to work. I think we're going to take back the House and Senate in time for them to stop this kind of uh, charade from going too far up the chain of command, uh, even though they're trying their butt off. It, it's not going to work. That's what I do believe. Now, um, DeSantis is now acting like Trump and actually going out and endorsing people like Harry Lake and Blake Masters and several others there in Arizona. And uh, I'm just glad to see it. I'm glad to see the, uh, the top Republicans are trying to help the rest of the Republicans. Uh, they may need a little help in order to uh, get across the threshold uh, to win their race. Now, that's about all I got for you on here. Actually, I was going to bring you an article from uh, yesterday's. Let's see if we can get it on there real quick. Let me back up here real quick. Let me show you this video. Pretty sickening mess here. Now, there is tons and tons of videos about uh, all the people that were out there to support Trump because they're mad about what's really going on with the FBI. And uh, there's tons and tons of foot footage of this. But um, let me go ahead and show you what uh, Janine Pirro said about Biden. When uh, people were asking about the low numbers. This is a, I think this is a Jonathan Carl interview. And uh, he's just as much of a liar as uh, she is. It's kind of weird that one liar was, Asking the questions of another liar. Let's check it out. But why is it that if things yeah, are getting better, so many Americans are unhappy with President Biden's handling of it? So, you know, we'll say this, you know, we have said this before. It's like we get it. We understand what the American people are feeling at this time. This is a number one priority. Inflation has been a number one priority for this president. Lowering costs has been a number one priority for this president. We get it. That's that's the overall census. We get it. Yeah, we do get it, folks. It's bad. No doubt about it. But we're going to fix it one way or another. We, we're going to come on in 90-something days. I cannot wait for us to change the direction of this country and get things back in order. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, 
hasn't went over there and subscribed yet, if uh, you like this channel, I do have another channel. It is uh, a junking channel. You may not be into learning about junk, but uh, if you uh, decide to go over and check it out, it's DIY Junking. I'll leave you a link in the description below as well. I'd like to uh, build my subscribership over there to possibly monetize that channel at some point because uh, I think I've got a lot to be able, a lot to teach people about junking, and uh, I just think that'd be a, a great thing to do, be able to uh, build a channel up that hopefully would never get smashed because I don't talk politics over there. As I always have a backup place to uh, to find me if uh, things go awry on this channel, and so that's one of the reasons that uh, I wanted to do that. Uh, and because I do several junkin' videos anyway, I figured I'd just build another channel and uh, do just that very thing. Hope everybody uh, will support me in that. Like I said, I'm going to leave you a few links down below to some other things as well. Uh, just tell me what you think, folks. Over and out.